I'm Darren Smiley from the National Weather Service in North Platte, and this is the Thursday, September 19th briefing on the South Platte and Platte River flooding situation for western Nebraska. The heavy rain that fell over the Rocky Mountains fell into the South Platte River Basin, which is causing the river rises in Nebraska. Four gauges measure the river depth in and near western Nebraska. They are Julesburg, Colorado, Roscoe, North Platte, and Brady. The South Platte River is already crested at the Julesburg gauge Wednesday morning. The crest was 10.74 feet, which breaks the old record of 10.4 feet. The stage at 8.15 local time Thursday morning was still above flood stage at 10.31 feet. The flood wave has begun to pass through the Roscoe area as of Thursday morning. The river rose about 6 feet in 6 hours to a depth of 7.5 feet. This puts the river at action stage, which is roughly at 1.5 feet below flood stage. The river is expected to crest Thursday afternoon and evening at a total depth of 12.58 feet. To summarize Julesburg and Roscoe gauges, the river has already crested at Julesburg Wednesday morning at 10.74 feet. That resulted in record flooding. The river is continuing to rise at Roscoe with a crest of 12.5 feet expected Thursday afternoon and evening. This will also result in a record flooding event there. As for North Platte and Brady, those gauges have yet to record the flood wave. The South Platte River at North Platte will begin to rise Friday morning and crest at 13.9 feet Saturday afternoon and evening. That will come near the record of 14 feet. Brady will see the river start to rise Friday night and crest Sunday afternoon at 9.3 feet. That will also come close to the record at that age. Here are some flood safety reminders. First and foremost, stay out of the flood water. It may be moving faster than you think and you may not know how deep it is. Also, the water can carry unsafe items such as debris, bacteria, and raw sewage. Also, keep informed of the situation and be prepared to move to higher ground if flood waters approach your area. If you're advised to evacuate, do so immediately. For more information on the flooding situation, you can visit our website at weather.gov slash North Platte and click on the link at the top of the page that will direct you to the current river stages and the forecast. You could also click on the hydrology section on the left hand side of the page called rivers and lakes. It is important to remember that high water will remain in place for a long period of time even after the river crest. If you're looking for information on downstream gauges from Brady, visit the other Nebraska Weather Service offices at Hastings and Omaha by going to weather.gov slash Hastings or weather.gov slash Omaha. If you're looking for road closure information, refer to the Nebraska Department of Roads by visiting 511.nebraska.gov. Thank you for watching the briefing on a record flooding event for the South Platte and Platte Rivers in western Nebraska. The next update will be Friday, September 20th.